Welcome back YouTube, it's great to see you. Today I'm going to show you how to install a left footed gas pedal so you can see a one legged old man drive a truck with his left foot. Now what you need to know is I'm not assuming any liability on this. If you want to do this, I'm showing you how I did it. I'm not telling you to do this. You either know how to do it or you don't and get a professional to do it. But it's not my not my liability. Good luck. I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back YouTube. Today we are going to show you how to install an Am Able Motion Mobility left foot gas pedal in a 2020 Colorado. The first step is to put the vehicle in a location where you can get the doors all the way open so you can work on the inside. Slide the seat all the way back and pull the floor mat out. First thing you'll notice is when you take it out of the package is the assembly has two pedals. The right pedal that you're looking at is really not a pedal, it's a pedal cover. The left pedal is the gas pedal and there's a white roller on the right side that rests on the factory gas pedal. The assembly also comes with two Allen wrenches, one small one and one medium sized one. The small one fits the two collars on the shaft on each side of the pedal assembly. It's designed to allow for side to side adjustment. One thing you'll notice is when you slide it side to side is there a black plastic ring that goes around the shaft that will slide out of the hole. You need to make sure that black plastic bushing slides back in that hole before you tighten everything down. What you see here is the assembly from the bottom. You're looking at the black base and the top part of it slides to the side to unhook. When you pull up the pin to move that red hook, the pedals will slide out to enable use of the factory gas pedal for a right footed driver. You'll see that in the videos coming up ahead. This is the assembly with the base and the top separated. The base, the black base, the flat part, flat looking part with the holes in it bolts to the full board and the top part slides to the side and you hook it in with that red hook. With that, there it is. Now you can see the bottom there with the red hook. Here I'm showing you four smaller side hooks and the big hole in the middle for the red hook to hook all the assembly together. Now we're going to take the assembly back into the interior of the truck to look for the final position of the assembly in relation to the factory gas pedal and the factory brake pedal. We've got to drill two holes in the floorboard to screw the base plate to the floorboard so we have to determine the final location of the pedal assembly. In this view you can see this rod is hitting the floorboard on the left side. This truck is a mid-sized truck, not a full-size truck. So this pedal assembly is a little too wide for my truck. I'm going to have to do a little bit of customizing here. So I see where the hump and the floorboard is hitting the rod. I'm going to mark the rod, the metal rod, with a black sharpie about a half inch away from that hump. And I'm going to cut that rod with a hacksaw a little shorter so it can fit my narrower mid-sized truck. I've got the rod cut with a hacksaw and the assembly is ready to install in the truck. But before we drill holes, we need to be sure of where we're going to put the assembly and then we got to look under the truck to make sure there's no brake lines, fuel lines, or anything else in the way that we're going to hit with a drill bit in a minute. So we have to have a point of reference to know what to look for underneath. And so what I'm showing you here is how the floorboard is bent at your feet. That crease 
is what I'm gonna look for underneath to work off of to find out if there's any gas lines or any obstructions there. Here we are laying on our back, looking up at the, floor, the gray floor pan towards the front of the truck. On the left, at the yellow arrow, is gonna be the frame rail. It's gonna stop us from bolting in the assembly where we want to. We're gonna to have to work with that. On the right, you're gonna see the crease for the transmission tunnel with the orange arrow. Towards the front, you're gonna see the red arrow. That's the crease that we're using for a point of reference to place the pedals. We're back to working on the inside. We're gonna mark the black carpet with a white marker where the frame rail is, so we know to where to drill our holes. We're also, we measured from the transmission tunnel crease about seven inches off. That's where I estimate where the frame rail is for future drilling. I'm gonna adjust the pedal assembly here uh, by loosening this nut and the bolt above it. I can slide the white roller up higher or lower to press on the gas pedal correctly. I'm going to take the assembly back to the workbench and use a mid-sized Allen wrench to loosen the two screws holding on the gas pedal cover. Now that we've got the pedal cover assembly off, you can see the two black plates behind the pedal cover. The bolts go through one of the back black plates into the other black plate that is attached to the frame of the assembly. You'll also see on the throttle pedal cover, there are holes drilled on each side of the cover. Those are for the spring to attach to from one end, and the other end of the spring attaches to the lever with the white roller on it. Back to the truck for another test fitting. I'm gonna pay attention to the factory gas pedal and the white roller to make sure they're interfacing together. The white roller has to be on the gas pedal. I'm making sure the left pedal doesn't interfere with the brake pedal, emergency brake pedal. You gotta watch where your base is gonna bolt down and make sure everything is going to fit into the truck without interfering with anything else. Okay, I'm giving it one more look. From the trans tunnel to the frame rail, that's where all my bolts have gotta be. And so one more look to see any adjustments I need to do before we bolt this thing in permanently. Back to the workbench one more time. I'm gonna take the arm apart because it's got a bend to it from the factory and it's gonna make my roller not sit on the gas pedal. So I want to straighten that arm and straighten the other arm I noticed that the base plate is flat where it meets the transmission tunnel. If I put a little curve to it, it'll allow the base plate to set closer to the transmission tunnel and it will make it easier for us to drill the holes between the frame rail and the transmission tunnel. I wanted to give you an idea of what it takes for one late old man like me to get up and down from being on my knees to be able to stand up repeatedly to be able to test fit this assembly. Back in the truck one more time. I'm gonna put the assembly where I think it's gonna need to be and mark the bolt holes so that I can drill it. It calls for a 930 seconds drill bit. Not many people have a 930 seconds drill bit. So a 5 16 drill bit will do the job. You don't need to have a 930 seconds. So I mark the hole where I'm gonna drill it. It should be inside the frame rail. I'm gonna drill one hole and see where it comes out to make sure everything's okay. With the drill bit still in the hole, I climbed under the truck to see where the drill bit was coming out under the bottom to make sure it was clear of that frame rail. I bolted the base plate to the floor using that hole. Then I could use the base plate as a guide to locate, to drill the second hole. 
with the base plate firmly bolted down, it was time to put on the assembly using those four tabs and that red lock. To install the pedals, you make sure the pedals are sitting on top of the gas pedal and you put the four tabs in their holes and slide it to the transmission tunnel until that red lock locks it down and the pin, the little ring that you pull on will go down. And it's all locked in position. To tighten everything up and adjust the pedals to make sure everything was in exactly the final position it needed to be before driving. To remove the left foot gas pedal assembly, you simply pull up on the ring and slide the whole assembly to the outside of the car, lift it up and take it out. And then a right footed driver can drive. Certainly you didn't expect this video to be complete without seeing a one legged old man drive a truck with his left foot. This is the first time I've been able to drive in over a year and it feels good. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I've got more to come.